Who lives on a coral reef? Hi everyone, and thanks for joining us today as we take a trip to explore the strange and fascinating animals that call a coral reef home. Let's start with an interesting bit of information. Did you know that 25% of the world's marine life is found on coral reefs? For example, the Great Barrier Reef in Australia has more than 1,500 types of fish living there. That's what we call an incredible diversity of life. Today, we're going to see some of these coral reef residents and find out how they all live together to create this fascinating ecosystem. The most important job for almost all of the animals is to keep from becoming a meal for one of the many predators. The only ones who don't have to worry about being eaten are those at the top of the food chain, the apex predators. Sharks are a good example of an apex predator because their large size and aggressive hunting patterns mean they have no natural enemies to worry about. Sharks have been around for more than 300 million years, much longer than mankind. Over time, many that live on a coral reef have developed some fascinating adaptations that help in the never-ending quest for survival. This pufferfish can inflate itself in the face of danger, making it difficult for a predator to swallow them. These porcupine fish can also puff themselves up, but they have the added defense of this armor of sharp spikes all over their bodies. This colorful surgeon fish is equipped with small spines on both sides of their tails. These spines are very sharp, like a surgeon's knife or scalpel, and are important for survival. This is where the name surgeon fish comes in. We can see that this butterfly fish has a spot near its tail that looks just like an eye. This is why it's called an eye spot. It's there to confuse a predator into thinking that the tail is really the head. That few seconds of confusion might give the butterfly fish just enough time to escape from danger. Some flatfish are able to hide on the ocean floor, blending in with the sand. This ability to hide right out in the open is known as camouflage. It means that a fish can look exactly like the background that it's part of, blending into nothingness. With their long, thin bodies, these trumpet fish can look just like branches of coral. They can also change color to blend into the background. Here is another master of disguise, the crocodile fish. It too blends into its surroundings. Let's see one of the most dramatic examples of camouflage. Watch how this octopus can change itself almost instantly to blend in with the colors around it. Instant camouflage. How's that for a superpower? You don't have to have seen a coral reef to damage one. And you don't have to be near a coral reef to help protect one. Together, let's do all we can to save the living treasures that are coral reefs. We hope you enjoyed finding out about life on a coral reef and hope that you'll come along on another trip with us really soon. Bye for now.